Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Market Analyst David Madden. Today's date is Wednesday the 4th of October and the time has just gone 12.15pm. The chart that we're going to look at this week is the Spain 35 or the IBEX 35. Um, the Spanish market has been in the news for all the wrong reasons this week. Uh, we've seen a lot of intense selling pressure uh, in reaction to the Catalonian independence referendum held over the weekend. But look at the daily chart here. Uh, if you will notice that the Spanish market has been in decline since May. Uh, it's certainly underperforming its Eurozone counterparts such as the DAX in Germany and the CAC 40 in France. And if you look here uh, in the last few trading sessions, you notice how the intense selling pressure actually pushed the market below the 200 day moving average and is currently trading just north of 10,000. Uh, it's currently trading at 10,020. Uh, we've now, today's, today's lows has now brought us back to lows not seen since March of this year. It's also worth pointing out, as the market was, was pushing lower, we did notice how the previously positive momentum has now swung to negative momentum. Uh, so we, that tells us that the momentum uh, is clearly with the sellers. Should we move south of 10,000 again, uh, the next level to potentially watch out for, for, for support to the downside could be in at 9,882 and then below that at 9,637. But should we see a bounce back in the market, uh, we could run into resistance at the 200 day moving average, which comes into play at 10,249. And then looking beyond that, a, a potential stumbling block for any, for any, any moves higher could be coming into play at the 50 day moving average at 10,366. Notice how at the end of last month, on a few occasions, the market tried to break north of the 50 day moving average, but it failed to do so. Uh, so that could be an important metric on the way up should we ever see a, uh, should we see a bounce back in the Spanish market. If you do happen to take out the 50 day moving average, uh, there are a couple of highs from July, which then may come into play as, as, a, as a potential area of resistance. In at 10,445, 10,576, and then at 10,758. If you are going to trade the Spanish market, it's obviously, it's obviously worth your while keeping an eye on the political situation in relation to Catalonia. But also, it is worth noting that Mario Draghi, the president of the European Central Bank, is speaking at 6.15pm today. Mr Draghi's comments may impact the euro and therefore in turn potentially impact the Spain 35. Thank you for watching this video and please tune in for our video next week. Thank you very much.